I was in a recliner. Wouldn't you? Yeah, kind of. I mean, I don't know. It's hell getting old. That's all I know. It's HGO, my HGO special. I got to get some more of them out there. Uh, and that's all it is. It's hell getting old. And, you know, when I was younger, even in my 40s, 50s, ah, hell, this ain't so bad. But one day, you know, I kind of woke up and I was in my mid-60s or early 60s. And, man, wow, something's happening here. It ain't good. <laughs> uh, but I look at it this way. In all sincerity, you guys, all my boomer constituents out there. I look at it this way. You know, you you know, you know, can... <laughs> how did I phrase that? I can't remember. Um, hmm. I'll have to look that up. But anyways, it, it's true. I mean, you, you, can, you can fight it all you want, you know, but it's inevitable. And I like to say, uh, hey, you just roll with it. Roll with the flow. Make the best of it. Because it happens to us all. There's nothing we can do about it. So just roll with it and have fun. Have fun with your aging as best you can. I mean, that's why I'm doing this. You know, for what it's worth, that's one of the main reasons why I do this. Because it really doesn't cost me a hell of a lot of money. I love doing it. And I, 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 I like to feel I might make a little difference. A little difference somewhere. You know, uh, uh, and that's, I, I can't explain it any different than that. And I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed to have this little show of mine and um, that I can do this. Because even this little show that I'm doing right now, some people can't, couldn't, can't even do this at my age. They, you know? Yeah. So blessed. I've only got one concern, and I hope, and I, hope I don't. But I hope I don't get... Uh, I got a few things that I don't understand, and I think it could probably be associated with Agent Orange, but... Because, yeah, I breathe the shit. There's no doubt about that. But anyway, <clears throat> I have a beautiful great-granddaughter. I have beautiful grandchildren. Everybody's basically healthy. So I'm telling you. Got food on the table every day, guys. Ain't that it? Uh, a roof over our heads. A clean bed to sleep in. I mean, that's it. Uh, and if you need any more than that, then I kind of feel sorry for you. Oh, and the other thing. Friends and loved ones and family. You've got that going for you. Oh, man. Yeah, that's all you need, right, guys? Thank you. And our, uh, before closing here, uh, you've got to say, let's say prayers and whatnot for the people down in Australia. You know, it's kind of ironic because I've got, this is, this, is, this is God's honest truth. I've had more listeners from foreign countries uh, the four, and the, but the number one foreign country that's been listening to me is Australia. Uh, yeah, and that's um, it's kind of ironic. And I'm having all this trouble down there now. I, you know, but some of these big shots with you know these uh, overpaid people that make movies, they're called actors or whatever, and make millions and millions. Um, some of them are stepping up to the plate and giving millions to that cause down there. And if you see some of those videos, man, I mean, some of those, well, yeah, videos, some of those uh, clips of th those poor little koalas and stuff. Oh, man. Yeah, it is. It is It is devastating. It's not good at all. Anyway, and then we just had, uh, what? Um, how in the hell are they getting temperatures in January in the hundreds? Uh, man, that's... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a big GW, I guess. The global warming is, uh, it's its a real deal. And then they had our California uh, had their fires. Of course, they always have fires, but this one was really bad. And then the other one was, uh, wh where was it? Uh, Amazon jungle, the Amazon had a huge fire there. I don't know. It ain't good. We need that forestation, man. I'm telling you. It's like they say, uh, the Amazon is what, like the... Uh, it's like an air filter, air cleaner on a car, or it helps to clean the air that we breathe. Yes, and uh, and slowly, it, the, some of these these big players in, in our uh, ecology, an uh, ecology arena, are disappearing. Yeah, or being depleted. Uh, one of the other, either either, either scenario is not good for us. So anyway, uh, there we go. 
I got off of it and I had to get a plug in there and that plug was for, you know him well, we grew up with him, Smokey the Bear, only you can prevent forest fires. That's right, and uh, that holds true today. Anyway, don't forget guys, your Pig Latin workshops are around the Twin Cities still. Check them out if you want to learn Pig Latin. Uye arde umde uckerfe. Uh, that's all I know about it. That's all we need to know about. <laughs> yes, indeed. Where is the wife whisper? Well, I was going to have the wife whisper on the show a long time ago, and it never materialized. Uh oh, there they are. There they are, the one and only, making another pass. I love these guys. Officers Tootie and Muldoon from Car 54, where are you? A sitcom that ran in the early 50s to probably the early 60s even. Car 54, where are you? Yes, Tootie and Muldoon, you guys, huh? What, Tootie? What? Yeah. Oh, no, Muldoon, Muldoon, yeah. Keep Tootie away from the extra glazing, will ya, and the extra sprinkle now, will ya? God, you guys, I'm telling you. No, but in all sincerity, these guys... Cops, but I don't know. I don't know how they got when and how they got their stereotype uh, of you know uh, hanging out at the donut shops and stuff, and, and they all started getting chubbier and fatter. And I don't know. It happens, I guess. <laughs> oh yes, we got a mon pa, mon pa kettle announcement here for you guys. Ma, uh, you did know that mon pa kettle with the thirteen kids, they are the main reason why the government stepped in a little and had the. Uh, Introduce the Planned Parenthood. Yes, because of those two hillbillies. You gotta love them, though. You gotta love them. That's for sure. Right, Ron? All right. We got Popeye up there. Wait a minute. Okay, this guy checks in with me, too, once in a while. Hey, everybody. My name's Pee Wee. What's yours? <laughs> hey, up yours. You little pervert. Yeah. Yeah. He sits back in the movie theater. There was a box of popcorn with a hole in the bottom. I'm not going there. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Oh, uh, I, I just. Oh. I just dozed off for a minute. Um, yeah, I was up late last night. I, yeah, I didn't go to bed till 10.30 almost. Uh, anyway. <laughs> okay, enough of this tomfoolery. We had, what's this? Oh, no, that's that, that's for another time for another show, some of that stuff. I got so much crap all on my desk here. It's unbelievable. Here's one for you. Here's food for thought. You got sanctuary cities and all. They're still out there, I guess. Sanctuary cities for all these illegals and people that come in here and stuff that are really don't belong and are not here legally. Uh, sanctuary. Why can't we have sanctuary cities for my brothers? Huh? Why can't we have sanctu sanctuary cities for all homeless veterans? Huh? What the hell's wrong with that? These cities are designated. That is one of their main focuses within their community is to see and to provide to where there isn't a one single veteran and uh, I'll I'll fine-tune it my brothers my my Vietnam brothers I there should not be a one your main function in these sanctuary veteran cities is to take care of them one way or another and if and if any veteran is found on the streets and not being taken care of uh, someone's in gonna be in deep doo-doo okay I would love to see this Sanctuary cities for the homeless vets. There's no reason why this can't why this can't exist out there. Anyway, all right. I went on and on and on, don't I? I went on. on, on ba, 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 I won. Okay, cuckoo time news. We got some cuckoo time news for you guys. All right. You remember? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, they got Twinkie flavored cereal now. Yeah, that's under cuckoo time. Where's the cuckoo time button? They got uh, Twinkie flavored cereal. Is it any wonder this country was so fat and lazy and sloppy and you know obese? This is it is it's true. Never before in my seventy years on this planet, never before 
in the history of mankind, or especially let's fine tune it for Western, the Western Hemisphere. Have we, and alcohol's in there too, ever, ever adorned food and alcohol like we do right now? It's unbelievable. I mean, you can't even watch a news show. Here they have some guy. I didn't know there was 5,000 different ways how to make chicken. I really didn't. But you go on some of these news shows, even local news shows, Channel 4, whatever, you know, 7, 30, 8 o'clock in the morning, they're eating guacamole or some kind of a dish that this some guy made up. I mean, I, I don't get it. It's, it's crazy cuckoo time. Man. Yeah, and anyways, so, not to get too far off track, uh... I would like to see them come out with our own. I would like to have my own cereal. It's a free country, goddammit, and uh, my show, so I'm going to tell you what it is. I want to see them come out with White Castle. Slider cereal, baby. Oh, yeah, now you're talking. Too damn right, damn you. What do you think about the slider cereal, guys? Huh? Yeah, yeah. You're damn right. I think that'd be dynamite. I think General Mills, being a local company, General Mills should jump on it. Sliders cereal. That's right, for, the, for us boomers. After all, a lot of us, we didn't grow up on McDonald's so much. I mean, McDonald's was there, but, you know, a lot of us, we started off on burgers. One of the first ones we ever had was the world-famous Sliders, White Castle, baby. Oh, yeah. We used to hang out down on Lake Street, White Castle, 36 Lake when we were kids, oh yeah, and we'd walk around, we'd drink our Boone's Farm wine, and we'd puke down the alleyways, yeah, and then uh, we got a little hungry, and to, hang, and to have fun, we'd hang out at uh, White Castles, where the bums would be in there, and getting their cup of coffee for a nickel, trying to sober up, yeah, we used to go in there too, and, and watch them, just for, just for shits and giggles, uh, and then we'd get coffee, and try to sober up with them, um, <laughs> okay, that's right, and somebody, uh, somebody uh, didn't write in, whatever you want to call it. I, you know, I don't get anybody checking back with me on this. And it's kind of sad. I, 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 I would like to got some feedback. I've been doing this for almost four years now. I've yet, I think I've got one or two responses. Yeah. Hell yeah. Anyway. Um, somebody once said, well, why are you doing old news? Captain, when you do some old news, and my answer to that is simple this, because I'm old, you idiot, and the people that the show was really attuned to, they're old like me, God bless them, God bless them, and you know, guess what, because we forgot a whole bunch of older news, so therefore, I just dig them up, the old news again, and, uh, and uh, recycle it, so to be, recycle news, because we forgot a lot about it anyway. Well, maybe not the big one. You know, like JFK assassination, stuff like that. But there's a lot of other stuff out there that we forgot. Yeah. And my people, um, yeah, they dig it up for me. And, uh, yes, they tirelessly work to provide pertinent information for the everyday boomer out there. Whether you're retired, whether you're still working, whether you're working part-time, whether you're uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, my show is a tune for you guys. That is right. Yeah, that new car that we got last year, that car talks to me more than my wife does now. That's true. Yeah. And speaking of cars, did you guys see the newest cars uh, they had in Vegas? New car convention or whatever the hell it is. Oh, my God. They look something right out of Tron. Right out of Tron. You just have to sit in it. The steering wheel on this one it does everything. Everything. This other one, you can actually recline and take a nap. If you so desire, just hit the auto, auto button. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, oh God. It's pathetic where we're heading, you know. Uh, I'll stay old fashioned as long as I can. I'll fight it every, every inch of the way, baby. I mean, if you can't experience driving the car, what the hell's the sense of having one? You know, you might as well just uh, hook up a, a, a motor and wheels up to your recliner. You know, I mean, what the hell? I mean, anyway. All I can say is, hey, you guys, 31 countries, can't all be wrong, 31 countries checked in with Captain Boomer, and I just love it. And I, and yeah, and it's 
fun, it's cool, it's exciting, and I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy.